What's up guys, in this video we're replacing the front shock absorber boots on this car uh, and the job is actually not so easy but it's really important that you make sure that you have the strut or shock absorber boots um, on your shock absorbers or struts because um, this actually prevents all the dirt and debris uh, falling down in there and as you know shock absorber has a shaft that moves up and down and if there's any debris or junk that's in there it's gonna actually cause a premature wear so that's what I'm doing right now and I already did one side uh, which I'm gonna show to you right now it wasn't the easiest but I'm really happy I got it done and I'm about to install this other one right here on this driver's side front uh, and yeah, I'll show you how what I did and all that stuff. All right, this seal is like halfway installed. All right, just gotta reinstall the top mount. Uh, it's pretty simple, just a, that basically bracket and nut right there. Uh, it's really important, guys. Otherwise, this strut is gonna prematurely wear. And this is a Bilstein, this is, a, this is the best quality you can get for these Benzes, so I am ordered these uh, boots that are going to go and protect this baby. This was a pain to install. I actually had to use three vice grips to be able to install this um, boot. And yes, I had to remove this mount completely from the car. As you can see, I already put a lot of wheel bearing grease right there before I reinstall this back. And there's my strut waiting. And it's gonna go like this, gonna protect my strut from premature wear. All right guys, here's the new boot that I'm gonna be installing right here as you can see it's not protected it's naked so it's supposed to have a boot on uh, that will actually make your struts and shock absorber last a long time so the mount is out and you can see how much junk and de debris uh, gets into this thing so that's what's really important to actually go ahead and install that boot that's what we're about to do Right, I'm about to install this hood strut that I was missing since I got this car. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and install this hood strut. And uh, yeah, I actually had to find the clip for it on the top, for the top because it was missing. But yeah, I got everything and we're ready to install this. All right, so we're about to install this uh, hood shock absorber. And uh, as you can see, the hood is all the way um, 
at 90 degrees this is how i used to keep the hood up in case if i needed to do some work under the hood uh, because otherwise there's no other way this thing was missing and also this top clip there's a top clip that's supposed to be there and it was missing as well so but i got everything today and i'm ready to install this this is the top clip that i was talking about actually cleaned it all up and painted it so it's nice and uh we're putting some grease in a couple places and ready to install this hood strut See what the guys are doing here. Doing big guy things. Brad, I need your weight. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Hello. So tell us what you're doing here, Squara. Lowering the car. Lowering the car, huh? And you just got those nice wheels, huh? Yesterday. Yes, sir. It's nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Assistant. You are? Yeah. Are you really his assistant or are you just like standing helping him? Helping. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Helping him out by pushing on the control arm. There you go. Yeah, what you doing, man? Crazy. What you doing over there, huh? Is this, is this for YouTube today? Yeah, man, this is for my YouTube. Say hello. Hello. I'm hello. Here, there you go, man. Four, what you doing three, here? Changing oil? I was. Now I'm done. Yeah. I'm done for a skirt in the shade. Damn, that's good, man. Yeah, it's like dead. Nah, it still gets hot. It gets really hot. Please. Heat yourself up, bro. Yeah, if you're really. cold. <laughs> oh, it was cold this morning. Yeah, it was raining. What? Lower it. Alright, see, see if it gets in. Oh, this is the part where I shine. <laughs> You're lifting it, not low uh, stock. Yeah. Are you new or what? No, 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 no. You gotta lower it. You know how to lower it? No. I'm trying. It's stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Twist. You see that? Okay, twist. got it. Yeah, it was, it was uh, stuck. A little dick twist. <laughs> oh, we're done. Ooh, let's see. Miranda, you're going too slow for me. Wow, look at that. Is That's it? it. That's good. It's see. gonna settle down. Yeah, no, just uh, give it a, a couple of pushes back and you know, oh, yeah, up and down. Good. Come on, Ryan, get your <laughs> Okay. It's not bad at all, man. It's not the most. What's your goal? How much is it now? I'm trying to get it built even. Oh, okay, I feel you. It's not? It's back to where it was earlier. Now that is something that looks really nice. So you just put these wheels on, uh, lowered it. Uh, looks pretty amazing. He installed coilovers. Um, uh, so yeah, he got this car recently uh, and he has a lot of plans for it and he actually wants to uh, do a manual swap as well uh, it has a really nice clock here which i really like uh he already installed the steering wheel um yeah this is a beautiful 300 zx oh yeah i mean she looks good she looks really good This is so unique, bro. This is so unique. I already found seats. I think I want to put it there. Yeah, what seats you're planning to put? Either the Brom, uh -huh. and they're like reclinable and they're blue and they match somewhat match the color. Oh yeah. So. This thing is gonna look fire. 
Yeah, guys, so we ne whenever we do uh, like cruises or something, I'm pretty sure he's gonna take one of his cars because he has another car, he has like a Subi a BRZ, but he's probably gonna take one of those cars to our cruise. I don't know, but um, yeah, this thing, this thing is fire, you know, old school Nissan. I mean, actually, when I was little, I remember we used to have those kind of like cards that they had like, you know, cars pictured on them. And one of them was this car, 300ZX with the white color. I remember it was a long time ago, probably like 20 years ago when I, was, when I was like five years old. I still remember that. And it was actually one of my favorite cars back then. It's funny. Um, yeah. Amazing car. It's got a V6. Uh, was it twin turbo or no? Or this is a uh, NA, right? This is a V6 uh, naturally aspirated engine in there. But uh, they used to they used to have the V6 twin turbos, right? In these. Nice. The easy way to tell the difference is from the from bumper. Oh really? Uh huh. They all have little air slits right there for the intercooler. Okay, gotcha. So that's the difference. Yeah. Okay. So the front bumpers would have the you said like a like an inlet, right? For the twin turbos? Oh, right Both there, right? Sides, right nice. And this whole area will be flat. Uh huh. Nice. Ah, that's sick. I think when I tune my 190E, <laughs> uh, we're gonna race that bad boy. And maybe that's Subaru BRZ that he has. So we'll see. 190e but first i really want to install manual trans in this car we'll see 